Come take my hand, let's go to Comic Sans. We're here for you when you don't have any better plans. Let's talk money, art, and race. All are welcome from a pretty mind to an ugly face. With stories right from the bottom of the state. Surely be more fun than your Tinder date. So come take my hand, let's go to Comic Sans. Come take my hand, join us on Comic Sans. Okay, this is MJ. Hi, MJ. It's Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. You get it? Yes, I read it. I loved, loved your story. Aww. I am going to send you a full report, but you need to know that this story is fantastic. Okay. The reader will identify with her because even though at some point she's a little weak and she allows herself to be vulnerable, it's totally normal. Yeah because she's, she's, a, she's a teenager. Right, right, I thought the same too. I write stories, I fix stories. My life is all about stories. Stories will take you here, they'll take you there, they'll take you everywhere. She coaches writers. One of her clients even calls her the Velvet Hammer. He says when she speaks, people listen. She's really good at what she does. Oh yeah, yeah, they will definitely relate to it. Yes. I've seen a pattern of making decisions and then confronting the consequences of these decisions. Right, right, I'm mm -hmm. glad to hear that. Yeah, absolutely, we can chat a little bit more about it if you want. I've always wanted to become a writer. I wrote my first novel when I was 13. I published it when I was 16. And it was at a time when Social media wasn't around. I had no famous author that I could follow and whose path I could um, emulate. I was basically on my own, learning the ropes, the hard way. I had to become fearless in my writing. I had to learn to reason, to problem solve. And I'm pretty proud of where I've come and who I am today. Yes, because we don't want a character who lets life take charge, where she's being led wherever things go, she's going with the flow. We don't want that. Right. Exactly. Yes. We want somebody who knows what she wants, and even when she's not totally in control, she still tries to find a way out of a bad situation. Sure, thanks. Yeah, le yeah. let's jump in on a call sometime next week after you've read the report and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Thanks. Absolutely. Best, okay, yeah. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye -bye. Now I run a writing practice called Happy Okay. I teach people how to write their way through trauma. I worked with um, victims of sexual violence, of domestic violence. I work with the elderly, with veterans, with um, minorities, people going through a transition, cancer patients and survivors, all those people who can benefit from writing as a form of therapy, even if they don't know that they need writing or therapy. She's the writer. I'm the artist. How would I describe my husband? He is very gifted, he is a fabulous artist, if I dare say so myself. 
is a comic book collector and he has tattoos, so many tattoos. <laughs> is really into AEW and Impact Wrestling, Magic the Gathering. He runs Red Bandana Gaming. If you haven't already done so, check it out. He's a hardcore gamer. A bombastic bag man. You know, Logan, this would be a great costume for you when you're a superhero. Just put a bag on your head and hide that ugly mug of yours. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could see that. If you were a superhero, you wouldn't have to. You just wear that beard and it just covers your ugly. Oh, wow. perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's your one. Yeah, oh, yep, that's <laughs> definitely your one. Ugh. These are definitely your settings because this inverted stuff. Oh, is he playing inverted? Yeah, I always play inverted. Oh, Why? Gosh. Because I can see, watch, here, hand it over here. See, if I'm Spider Man, up is down and down is up. Yeah, see? There you go. I have no problem. And look, it's the bombastic Bagman. It is. Whoa! Which oh. is currently hiding <laughs> from his butt. There we go. See? I can see up his Hello. butt. Hello! There we go. Wait, when was he in the Fantastic Four? There's a long story there. Logan's an interesting character. I met him, oh, I want to say at least five, ten years ago. We were just hanging out with a bunch of friends. He's a pretty decent guy. I've known him for a while. I've seen some of his art. It's a... Uh, it's impressive. Was this DLC? No, this is this is part of the game. Definitely part of the game. It How do you bomb. unlock the bombastic Bagman? I don't think I've unlocked it yet. How did I meet Logan? Well, we were both salesperson at a particular store a while back. I've known him for a very long time. He's a pretty good guy. Um, you, you, when we, I found out he was an, an artist, just like myself. Uh, played a lot of video games, a lot of retro games and whatnot. Been at a lot of adventures, a lot. Um, you know, met his family, they're cool people and everything, and he, he's very, very charismatic, so to speak, or very, very big into himself. So I have to counterbalance that a little bit. I have to bring him down a little bit. So I, I'm very, very understanding. So it's, it's, a, it's like a yin-yang type of thing. Don't, you know, that's, that's basically what it is. A good guy, a really good guy. Skiff and Lich. These two guys are two of my best friends. We work together on Red Bandana Gaming on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. You can check us out if you love video games. I've known these two guys for quite some time, uh, well over 10 plus years. Met them through some friends. Lich, I worked uh, with him for many years in uh, our last retail job. And Skiff, I met him through another friend of ours named Alex. Known him for quite some time, great guy. Oh, 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 my, my phone's going off, take this. Hey there, Bob. How's it going? Yeah, the, those pencils? Yeah, I'll definitely have them done. I'm working on them. Oh, and the inking? Yeah, sure. That'll definitely be done. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have you some uh, some samples by the end of the week. All right, no problem. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. Goodbye. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Oh, it's fine. Oh, another phone call. Oh, hey, you're a sorry, guy. sorry about that, guys. Oh, hey, this is Logan. What's up? Oh, hey, Mike. How's it going? Oh, so they're done? Oh, great. So we can pick them up. I, I can pick them up today. Great. Hey, guys, our shirts are done. Oh, awesome. good. Okay. All right. Th thanks, man. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. All right. Cool. Later. All right. So we'll be able to pick up our shirts today. It's fantastic. Sweet. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoops, a band Why are you abandoning the mission? I don't know. I run a gaming channel on YouTube called Red Bandana Gaming. Uh, we even have a website, Facebook, Instagram, all that great stuff. I run it with uh, Lich and Skiff. We do all kinds of things uh, in the video game world, or sphere, you could say. We do everything from reviews to gameplay videos to just, you know, talk about stuff. Anything that has to do with uh, the video game uh, industry. We touch on, we talk about, and hey, if you guys like that kind of stuff, you can watch it. We, we're really funny too, I swear. We travel to conventions, we go to retro game stores, we go to a lot of events in the gaming community. We also, well, when it comes to conventions, are huge comic book fans, all three of us. Whether it's any of the Spider-Man or Batman games, we're really big into it. And hey, it even connects to our current project that we're working on. Gaming actually brought us together. 
I was looking for a new console. Logan recommended the Xbox. He came to help me set it up. Our first date was pizza and Batman Arkham Knight. I wouldn't call myself a hardcore gamer, but I spend a lot of my free time playing adventure games. As a writer, I find the storytelling aspect of these games thrilling. The best video games can take you on a spellbinding journey to a cleverly written and well thought out story. And I love games that give me choices, making it feel like I have control over my destiny. Particularly when these choices actually have a great impact on the course of the game. I also work as an illustrator and graphic designer. I've been wanting to work on my own comic book for years now, but never actually got around to it. I work in a variety of mediums. Sometimes I sketch in pencil, and I do rough finishes with pen, ink wash, and watercolor. Sometimes I use computer programs like Photoshop and Illustrator. So this is something I'm working on for Bob. It's in the early stages. I've been passionate about art since I was old enough to pick up a crayon. I drew on everything from walls to carpets to flooring, and eventually paper. My mother and grandfather recognized my talent from an early age. I found inspiration in the works of artists like Salvador Dali, MC Escher, the master Raphael, and also in more contemporary illustrators like Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane, and Jim Lee, amongst others. I started Happy OK when I realized that I could use writing to help other people, to help them live a life with a lot of calm, a life that is anxiety free. A lot of the strategies I teach my clients, I've been using myself for years. Um, I've always dealt with anxiety and a little bit of depression and I had to learn to cope and writing was my way to cope. So I'm bringing the gift of writing to people who might be experiencing those same issues. There's nothing quick and easy about making comics. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see where MJ and I take the story of our own. So here we are. Here we are. Breaking into the comic book world.